I just hope he rots in hell. After over 20 hours of deliberation, the jury finally decided the fate of Jolon Verma, a verdict Brittany Irving's family has waited more than three and a half years to hear. The 32-year-old has been found guilty of first-degree murder. We really want to send out a humble thank you to all the witnesses that came forward and put their reputations and more on the line to testify about what they knew. Um, Brittany was only 24. She made a lot of mistakes, like all of us do. She just didn't get the opportunity to correct all those mistakes, like most of us do. And her life, we don't know what it would have been. And I'm kind of, she's not going to get to find out. And now he won't find out what his life was going to be either. I'm a happy, happy girl. Did you fear the worst? Yes, I did. During the five-week trial, members of the jury, along with Irving's family, heard the details of her grisly murder. Shot four times with a shotgun, including twice in the back and buried in the woods off McCullough Road. Yeah, shot her in the back. What kind of man's that? Irving was reported missing in 2010. She supposedly battled with addiction and was attempting to set up a drug deal with a man named Joey that would see her exchange a large amount of marijuana for over $100,000. But after she left to make the deal, she was never seen or heard from again. To uh, deal with my sister's death is one thing, but then having to watch my mother go through this is... Verma will be sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole for 25 years. As the verdict was read in a Kelowna courtroom, Jolon Verma expressed no emotion. And when asked if he had anything to say for himself, he declined. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.